back now with a Fox 5 exclusive, an update that we are so happy to report tonight. Fox 5 helped solve a mystery. It started with a call from a good Samaritan who found a camera with a memory card filled with photos. And for years, he's been trying to return the pictures to the Marine who lost them. We want to catch you up now with a look at our story from Friday night. I've never been in the military, but by the photos, I could feel what they were going through. Yeah. And this is why it makes it so important to, you know, to give it back to them. Irreplaceable images. More than 300 snapshots into the life of this Marine from back in 2008, each providing clues. His uniform reads Zellman. He attended a ball or gala, a Redskins Cowboys game, and was deployed to the Al Assad Air Base in Iraq. At one point, meeting with children there, and of course, training. Loading up on airplanes, C 30, you know, the helicopters. You know, apparently, what it looked like to me that he was a a gunner on top of a Humvee. I know he would want it back. I mean, he did a tour. It was probably a one-time thing. And he, it looks like he either survived, you know, with the Washington game. I don't know whether that was before or after, but I'm a, I would sh be sure if it was me, I'd want it back. Matt Walker and his landscaping team found the smashed camera on the side of the road along Calvert Street in northwest D.C., just off of Connecticut Avenue, one afternoon back in 2008. While the camera was destroyed, he found the memory card intact, and for the past nine years, he's held on to it, searching for Zellman with no luck. I've contacted recruiters, I've contacted, you know, Marine buddies, trying to figure out how to get this back to them, but nothing. As the U.S. Marine Corps celebrates its 242nd birthday and the nation marks Veterans Day, Walker was watching the coverage on Fox 5. He says it inspired him to reach out to us, hoping it could lead to help from the public. Maybe one of the people in these photos can help solve the mystery. Walker would like nothing more than to deliver these prized memories along with an important message to Zellman or his family. Thank you for your service. Here's your card. I kept it safe for you. It took less than 24 hours. We now know that Marine's name is Benjamin Zeldman. He says that his cell phone and Facebook account lit up with people telling him to give us a call after seeing that story. And he did. Ben, joining us now along with Matt Walker. We are so excited to have you guys in studio. Everybody's been uh, really pumped for this story. And you guys seem really excited. You're laughing looking oh, at yeah. some of those photos. Oh, yeah. So can you believe that this guy had this memory card after nine years? I mean, I, I thought it was gone forever. I honestly thought it was, it was just lost and gone. And so. there are so many important memories, it yeah. looks like, in those pictures. Yeah. Like you were saying that you couldn't even remember exactly what was on it? No. I, I mean, I'm kind of scared to look at it, honestly. I mean, the Marines do some, some, some crazy stuff over there, you know, so <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, it's going to be good to see it again. And um, you, we were talking about this. The your um, camera and also a laptop were stolen. Yes. And so that so you don't even live in D.C. They were found nope. there. So can you tell us that? Oh. Um, yeah. Um, I had moved to Winchester um, right after my deployment, and I had met my first wife there. And so shortly after that, uh, we went to the ball, and uh, my laptop. I went to drill for that weekend, and my laptop and camera were stolen out of my apartment. Mm -mm. So when I came home, they were gone, and I was kind of kind of heartbroken there. Yeah. And so. then to, and. The interesting part, you were living in Winchester. Sir, you live in Winchester. Yep. But you found this in D.C. Yeah, I found it in D.C. It was, it was luck. Yeah. I mean, the job, like I said, the job I was doing, I was a subcontractor under a general, and uh, it was, we finished up for the day. And we're leaving, and we're sitting in traffic there on Calvert, and the guy said, hey, there's, there's a leather case there, and on the side of the road in a ditch. That's we'll grab it. They jumped out and they grabbed it. They hopped in the back seat and then they said, well, it's a camera. And I said, okay. And they said, here. And they handed it up over the front seat. It was smashed flat. Good thing that you looked for that memory card. Well, the, 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 the little flap that uh, covers the, the card was gone. I mean, the thing was smushed. No but I could see the card. I hit it and it popped out. How do you feel to be able to give these photos back? This is awesome. Yeah. This, is what I've, this is what I've been trying to do for a long time. And you, you feel like you made me know Ben a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> clicking, clicking real quick. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you guys were hanging out in the yeah. green room earlier. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my goodness. So what what are you? I know you haven't actually seen. You brought the memory card, but we haven't plugged it into anything, so we actually haven't seen them yet. Um, what are you looking forward to the most now that you see uh, some just, of them? Just the memories, the flashbacks, like the, the the guys I served with, like that stuff is just it's very sentimental, you know. Yeah. It, it, it's like looking back on pictures of of your family. Really, you got brothers, and and it, it's gonna be real good to see it. Wow. Well. Thank you so much for everything that you did for holding on to that card and giving us a call. And Ben, thank you for your service. No problem. Thank you. The My timing pleasure. of this is just pretty amazing, too, with yep. Veterans Day yep. as well. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for coming in. No problem. In. No yeah. problem. All right. So Matt called us after seeing a story that our reporter, uh, Bob Barner, did about Veterans Day. And it inspired him to make one more push to try to return the photos. So we are so happy that we could help. And we want to encourage all of you out there. If you have a story idea, call the Fox 5 tip line, the number 202-895-3000, or you can email your tips to fox5tips at wttg.com.